The first Ben's Bells were hung out on the first anniversary of Ben's death. And at that point, you know, we were just doing something that we needed to do personally and to celebrate Ben's life. But what we learned was that everyone who found a bell had a story to tell. We heard stories of grief and healing and hope. And very soon we had this very engaged community around the project and we knew that we could take it deeper. So we started developing kindness education programming. The mission of our kindness education programming is to teach people that kindness is a skill that we can practice on a daily basis. We're never going to be perfect at it. We're always going to have to be trying and we can be kind to ourselves in addition to be, being kind to others. Starting at the grade school level, you can do kindness education programming all the way up through the sky's the limit in terms of age for adults. Since we've started the Ben's Bells Kind Campus program, we have seen a significant change in the way our students behave and treat each other. I'm very hopeful that teaching kindness at a very young age will impact students in all facets of their life. So if a child is online, on Facebook, you know, on Twitter, on Instagram, they will behave accordingly because they know it's the kind thing to do. And they know how kindness makes them feel when they have something kind done for them, and how kindness makes them feel when they um, behave kindly towards others. I, I think I'm really fortunate in the organization because I get to work on site a lot of times with students and parents from the Kind Campus program. And so you get to really see these kids who have been told that being kind matters and that they can make this choice, you know, and uh, they're pleasant and fun to be around. <laughs> It's really empowering knowledge and empowering education that's kind of an antidote to a lot of the alienating behaviors that we have in our culture that have developed and that are sort of inherent sometimes to being human. Uh, but all of the time we spend on um, social media and technology, which can be great and make us feel connected, but can also make us feel disconnected and decrease empathy and cause us to feel like we're not a part of a community. Collaboration and cooperation are a huge part of what we do. There's a 21st century skills. So to teach the whole child is to teach them how, not just how to read and write and do math, but how to behave. You need to teach children how to behave appropriately. Being kind is a skill, and behaving appropriately is a skill. Once they feel that, and they have that little glow, they want to do it again because it felt good. You can really see after they've kind of gone through this programming that the older students are really looking out for and making a point to teach and help by the younger or unsure kids, you know. I mean, I think that's a really simple, small step that starts a whole chain of um, hopefully like productive behavior.